Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I'm back with another video. I'm here with Mega Good Vibes today. She's just hanging out. I hope everyone's doing well and um, I just want to thank you guys for hanging with me as always and uh, just take care of yourselves and always remember it's your journey so whatever you manifest or think about constantly that's what you're going to attract into your reality. So make sure that you're keeping your vibes high, you're keeping your thoughts nice and healthy, balanced, and in alignment with what it is you desire and want to experience. So with that being said, I wanted to share a synchronicity with you guys that I've been experiencing. Um, and I know the last few videos have been about synchronicities, but um, it's kind of like what guides us, right? And I think that it's important for many of us to know that this journey is supported by like the spiritual. And so that's why many of us feel like we can't share a lot of this journey with just anyone because living your life based off of synchronicity they might think that you are nuts but uh wonderful carl young would disagree <laughs> so with that being said um the anchor has been following me around and if you guys have the same experience or if you haven't seen anchors and you might start seeing it after this reading um, it's to let you know that the masculines are trying to send you a message they want to let you know that you are what keeps them steady during the storm and right now they are going through this process of really navigating through a storm and I think that it's beautifully orchestrated because right now many of the feminines are just enjoying themselves. They're having a great time. They are learning a lot about what it means to really relax into their feminine energies because I know that it's about a balance that needs to take place. And I actually have the beautiful Durga here because if you notice how she's sitting on the lion or the tiger, sorry, I mean, in some pictures, it's a lion, but, you know, what I think it's meant to represent is just the way that she so comfortably, beautifully sits on such a powerful energy. And I think that this is a beautiful representation of the feminine and the masculine together. And right now, the masculines are going through a lot of awakening. Maybe they're seeing a lot of sevens, um, a lot of sixes right now, a lot of lessons being learned. Um... They're having to go through a lot of the storms of this journey right now. And some of us might call it tower moments. Some of us might call it dark night of the soul. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, the masculines are going through, you know, some really hard times. And I've been seeing the anchor symbol a lot and it's not just been weeks it's been months now and i've actually shared the symbol with my divine masculine very subtly as well and i could tell that he received it in the way that i intended to and so i just wanted to share the synchronicity because i don't know if any of you are seeing the anchor symbol or if you might start seeing it after this reading but what it symbolizes is this is how the masculine sees you he sees you as something that holds him steady during the storms very much like the anchor holds the ship steady during a storm all right so with that being said i just wanted to dive into the cards and let you guys know that you know a lot of the energy that i feel has much to do with the masculines facing things that are really holding them back from experiencing this love and they're they're kind of starting to like wake up from this slumber and you know what i see them doing is really charging forward like the powerful lion or the big <laughs> stubborn bull and they're confronting people head on about this connection specifically okay and you know the vibe i get is like this may be confronting family okay specifically like parents i'm not sure if any of you have differences in your connection however that resonates for you the masculines are really going up to bat <laughs> 
for the connection at this time and um, it's with the people that are most important to him okay so I'm gonna get into the cards I wanted to use the Tarot of sexual magic because um, he's thinking about you right now as his anchor okay and he knows that you're off right now enjoying the abundance that the universe has provided you with for being that anchor and so he just wants to send you some messages to let you know you know what's happening in his life right now what what's the energy what's he thinking okay so i'm gonna get right into the cards um again we can already see meg is starting to kind of like pick at them and she's being persistent <laughs> all right love i'll get them out Oh, that's so funny. Tracy, you're going to laugh, my love. <laughs> Me and my friend Tracy were talking about the lizard totem. And the lizard totem actually represents your ability to stand steady <laughs> and stay strong during personal attacks. So this is the seven of wands, okay? So he's becoming very confident in his passion towards the divine feminine. And what's happening now is the lizard is there as a reminder in the background to let him know that it's time to be confident in yourself. It is time to move past stagnant energies. It is time to really go for what makes you feel good and stop seeking approval from the outside world. And I really feel like this masculine that I'm channeling has everything in order in his life. But when it comes to matters of the heart, only he is standing in the way of what it is he wants to experience. And that's really going to take some confidence in terms of like standing up to people. Okay. And it's interesting because next I have the four of chalices coming out. And speaking of matters of the heart, matters of emotions, if we look at the four here, four is all about stability and we know the feminine creates stability in his life. But if you kind of look like they're meeting in secret and she's kind of trying to explain to him, like look at that finger where she has her finger up very feisty. She's trying to explain to him like the stability you've created around you is making you feel very claustrophobic and the stability that you want to create with me makes you feel very creative it makes you feel the energy of the four which is living with high morals doing the right thing um i think that we've talked about that in the previous post was the masculines having to just kind of do the right thing in regards to this connection and he has luck on his side with the horseshoe there but he really does have to cut some ties with a lot of deep friendships and family relationships that seem to inhibit him in some way when it comes to taking action towards the divine feminine okay and he's really gonna have to like wake up to this reality to see <laughs> you know where he's he's not taking action you're not taking action because you're afraid of what people think and it is very frustrating because it's like the feminine's in this place now where she's kind of like calling the shots and in, in, in her own life and so it's really setting that example where it's like okay if the feminine is uprooting things and she's being so fearless and unafraid, then like, what am I waiting on? Like, look at the look on his face. What am I waiting on then? He looks so disappointed, right? Um, I'm going to pull um, some love messages here with that being said, like, <laughs> especially because he was like, what am I waiting on? Okay, so if they once loved you, they still do. So right now your masculine wants to let you know, like I'm in the process of working things out, but whoever is tuning in right now and who's ever listening, he wants you to know, like reminisce on the connection. Maybe you're receiving song synchronicities about your connection or your masculine, like uh, from like the very beginning of your connection, like there's songs that you're starting to hear and what that represents is like the cycles like you see these the planet in the background there and like the ring around the planet like the the cycles and the shifts are taking place but he wants you to know like hang in there for me like don't go anywhere did you guys notice how the screen slowed down i'm not sure if you guys are gonna are gonna be able to notice that or not but that was weird i saw that <laughs> but um he's asking you to to hold steady and and 
he wants to remind you of the love that you two you know have shared the experiences that you've had that lets you know that this love sets you both apart from like any other experience that you've had in relationships and he's coming to this you know understanding like i even wrote on this card like <laughs> fight the routine and fight like old habits fight old habits of reacting and fight old habits of like how you deal with people right and like right now i think that the masculines are having to learn that like being told what to do by like certain people in their family rather than like telling them like no this is what i'm doing and you're going to respect it or you're not going to respect it and i think that the masculines are in this process of like making those moves like maybe they've thought about it but they've never actually followed through so that's just what i'm getting there okay he wants you to hang on let's go for a few more in this deck and this whole reading is like, you know, focused around this like whole anchor symbol. It's about him understanding at this point that the feminine is there as his guiding light. She is there as his, you know, rock steady. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Fool card here because we have someone that's like taking off on a journey when it comes to telling people off. And you, if you notice the snake by his foot there, to me that's like shedding the old you and it's like charging off on this path. And I've mentioned in past readings before, to me the Fool represents like leaving everything behind and just taking whatever's on your back maybe just your necessary belongings because with the energy of the zero there it's going right back to the beginning right reminiscing again about the connection and like i've mentioned it's something that he can't get away from you can't get away from with the mountains in the background i know that it's been a tough journey of you guys having to constantly climb and climb and fall and climb but I mean, this passion is not going anywhere. This passion between you two is not going anywhere. We have the Eight of Pentacles coming in. And the Pentacles, you know, with that Earth energy in there, it's like manifesting into the physical world. They're both there together. And the energy of the coffee there as well is just speaks volumes of what's to come. I mean... Coffee is like the staple of every breakfast. So that means they're both going to be waking up to each other very, very soon <laughs> in the physical world. And with that eight coming in there, that's a power number. That's like personal power. That's the masculine and the feminine wanting to make this happen. And when you want to make this happen, that's when the action part starts, right? That's when that personal number eight comes in there. It's getting into your executive mode having to make decisions and take action, be the big boss, uproot your lives, but also be able to rebuild and hold steady. And I think that both of you are facing this right now. Like it's not only the masculines, but I think like the feminines too. Um, it's like the posts I had in my community about uh, divorce, you know, it's about being a good mom and being a good dad. If you've got kids and you have a twin flame and if you're in a marriage or a partnership and you've got kids and you have a twin flame, that's not going to stand in the way of you guys coming together or being together. What this is going to do is this is going to push you to become the best version of yourself in every area of your life just so that you can bring this connection together. What you give will come back. And I think that this is going to resonate with those of you who really need a reminder to keep positive thoughts towards the connection with your counterpart, okay? Because what you give will come back to you. You can't say in the same breath that you love your twin flame and then say, but it'll never happen. We can't manifest with that energy. We have to manifest with a flow not flow and then resistance it has to be a constant flow of what it is we want and expect to occur in our lives 
So I'm just going to reach out for some more messages from our masculines just to see like what they're going through, like, you know, what steps they're taking. And again, all of this is focused towards that anchor energy. Okay, so we have the Strength card coming up as a major arcana here. And I think that, you know, the, the card itself to me speaks about, like, surrender. You know, the feminine has taken over his, his reality, every part of his world. And she's done that just by, you know, being who she is, being very wild, being very natural. And that wasn't always an easy pill for you to swallow as the Divine Feminine because you had a lot of insecurities about just being yourself. But little did you know, it was being yourself that was going to conquer this very stubborn, very wild energy. Because by being yourself, you were even more powerful than the wild, earthly energy itself. You know, it's like this very fiery, heavenly energy coming down to, you know, really rain havoc on the material world. And with this strength, I mean, she's shown the Divine Masculine, you know, who his Divine Match is. And that's what he can't seem to just <laughs> get away from, which is why he's facing constant changes. She's facing constant changes. This is the Five of Wands, again, with that, you know, very passionate energy. Like, I think the magic of the ribbons here on the plant represents a lot of, like, introspection about celebrations that you want to you want to set in motion. I mean, if you look at the way he's there, like, planning, and the magic of the mirror and the cup, and just the way he's looking out, this represents a man that's constantly fantasizing. It's like, <laughs> even in his physical life, he's like, I need a bathroom break. And then what he does is, thank God, he can just get a break from his physical world because he just wants to enter the ethers and think about his flame, his divine mirror, who fills his cup. Notice the curtains are pulled, which is, you know, really him kind of diving into the veils of his inner world, just what he thinks about constantly, 24-7. And sometimes you're a big distraction in his physical world, feminine, but, you know, he loves it. He loves it very much. And you are holding him very steady with all of this passion and nurturing and warmth that you offer to his very turbulent world at this time. I hope this reading finds you all well. Me and Mega will catch you in the next video. And, um, agora les subscribe to the channel, la family. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next video, okay? Take care and I'll speak to you soon.